This has been such a fun event to design. When the overall theme is the journey. We're going to talk about how do you take a leader through the journey process. There's a beginning point in this and there's these ahas and there's conviction to do it and then you find out, you know, you get excited. It's like a summit. You get excited about the idea and then, then all of a sudden you find out, oh, this is what we have to do to pull this off. And then you go into deep despair in a couple days <laughs> through the planning because things aren't going the way you thought they were. <clears throat> and you hyperventilate a bit. And then you start coming out and it starts coming together and then you adapt say, okay, well we can make this work and we can make that work. And then you start seeing light at the end of the tunnel and a path and a direction and then it comes together. So the well journey for a corporate uh, leader is, is no different than any other mountain or challenge that you try to climb. And we're going to take you into that. So we want to pause for a minute and talk about settle your glitter, okay? How do kids manage their, their emotional state and their brains coming out of oftentimes chaotic, dysfunctional, uh, toxic home situations? How do you do that? And what we saw is that they're much further along in the conversation than we are in the business world. How many of you know people in work that really are kind of on the ragged edge? home situation finance, help with family, kids, and they're just doing their best just to keep it all together. And yet, we expect them to come into the workplace. So imagine a kid that has a very turbulent night. Parents are dysfunctional. The kid stays up playing video games because that's the best distraction. They come into school drained and tired. How do you get them into the game? How do you get their brains into the game? So this whole idea of managing the brain, we brought them into the conversation in terms of social and emotional literacy. So you've got one of the tools they use. It's called a glitter ball. And what they do, uh, they talk about an amygdala hijack. And that's when you're so stressed that you're in that fight or, fl fight or flight state of mind <clears throat> and you come to school all agitated and then trying to learn something just puts you over the edge and you act out. Okay? Not that any of us act out mm -hmm. or find it. But what they do is they have a little area and a kid or a teacher will give, you the, give Mark a ball and let's say Mark is coming in all stressed and it looks that way and he'll shake it up and say, go settle your glitter. And they go off and sit, and I'll show you a little video on what they do. Did you want to take them through a little bit of? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna settle our glitter, <laughs> okay? So the cool thing about this is, uh, what I love about it is it gives the kids a very simple and tangible and physical way to calm their mind, right? So the idea is you shake the glitter ball up, and then you watch it until it slept, completely settles. And you take a deep breath as you're watching it settle, and then breathe out. You breathe in to about eight to 10 seconds, and then you breathe out 10 to 15 seconds. What that does is it activates your vagal nerve, and your vagal nerve touches all the parts of your body and helps resynchronize. <clears throat> and typically you need to do it more than once, but it's a great, tool and exercise on just kind of settling your stuff down. Okay? <clears throat> so keep that with you. If you see one of your teammates that is acting out, <laughs> what are you going to tell them? Settle your settle your glitter. Go settle your glitter, right. <laughs> We've got a little chair over there that you, that's, the, that's the settle your glitter chair. You just say go over to the glitter room and go settle your glitter. Okay? <laughs> All right.